Hey, it's Earth Castle. Ever felt tired of the boring square brushes and wanted to make more detailed architecture in your maps? Today, I'll teach you how to use advanced shapes in the Hammer Editor. But before I do that, I want to announce that I now have a public Discord server. It's a great place to hang out if you need help with the Hammer Editor, want to ask me any questions, or just talk to people. The link will be in the description and on my profile. Back to the video. To find the advanced shapes, go to the right side of the editor until you find this menu. Make sure your object category is on primitives. In this drop down menu is where you'll find all the available objects. This right dial here increases or decreases the side count. First is the cylinder. The first one has 8 sides, the second has 15, and the third has 25. Notice how the more sides it has, the more smooth it is. Next is the arch, which if you could guess, makes an arch. Before making it, a window will pop up asking for some settings to make sure you get the correct arch. The sphere makes a sphere. I'd recommend sticking to a lower side count for this and not using any sort of carved tools near it, as two complex objects can break your game. The spike makes a spike, which looks pretty cool. The rhombus has the same sort of pop-up screen as the arch and makes a donut shape. Make sure that you don't make it too small, or the inside of the rhombus will collide with itself and break the brush. Lastly, the wedge makes a wedge shape, and kind of looks like a block of cheese. And that's all the shapes you can make. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to check out my other Hammer content, and that's all for now. See ya.